reporter Shannon Heck breaks that breaks all of this down for us and she joins us in the studio with those details. Hey Shannon. Good evening guys. The Louisiana Department of Health is reporting 181 cases of monkeypox as of today. And with the LGBTQ event Southern Decadence taking place over the holiday weekend, Louisiana is getting ready to get more vaccines in the arms of those who are greatly impacted. It is the first year since the pandemic began that the LGBTQI plus festival Southern Decadence is making a return. With this population showing to be largely impacted by monkeypox, state and federal health teams are getting testing sites and vaccines ready. We are expecting tens of thousands of people uh, in New Orleans over this Labor Day weekend. And so being able to prepare for that and to, to get a, a head start on, on the vaccinations, on the testing, on the communications, all extremely important. LDH is reporting that 89% of cases are found in men. The disease is largely impacting the black population with about 60% of the state's cases being in African Americans. LDH says those who currently qualify for the monkeypox vaccine are gay and bisexual men, transgender women, and those who have sex with men. The goal of setting up at Southern Decadence is not to prevent the disease there, but to reach those impacted. One of the things we've learned from our response to COVID-19 is that it's important to reach people where they are. It's not enough to wait for people to show up at a doctor's office or a county health department. Louisiana will be getting an additional 6,000 doses ahead of the festival. It's about less about the event and about the people and their dedication to uh, really trying to keep themselves and their community safe. They will be available not only to residents but to visitors as well. Louisiana made an additional push for more vaccine doses before the event, but there wasn't enough available up until recently. This is due to the country switching from to smaller doses as the country ramps up its vaccine production. I'm Shannon Heck for NBC Local 33 News. All right, Shannon, thank you so much. A lot of valuable information there.